We're inside the main temple of Dendera in Egypt. And you can't get a sense of the scale, I don't think, with photographs and even with this video. But hopefully this will give you an idea. This was a temple from the Old Kingdom of Egypt dedicated to Hathor, who is represented as obviously a female and with cow's ears. Made out of solid sandstone, but each one of these columns is multiple sections. You can see the the lines running this way as we go along. You can see how each column is a stack. Now the reason why the faces are not in great shape is that uh, they were destroyed by later people, possibly the Romans, in order to try to kill the spirit of Hathor. And I can't think of anything in the modern age which can rival just the grandeur of this place. It's mind-boggling. Solid stone building that's been here from the Old Kingdom. So you're talking at least 4,000 years. We're with Stephen Mailer, and he's going to explain where we are and what we're looking at. We are at the Temple of Hathor in Dindara, uh, said to be in a, what they call a Ptolemaic site, 300 BC, but actually on a much, much older area that covers all areas, a very ancient site. Who Hathor was, Hat means place, Hor is usually considered the falcon or the boy or the initiate. So it's the place of the boy. This is where sacred initiations were taking place, but only by priestesses, because this was a matriarchal culture. So Hathor represents all the arts, dancing, music, sculpture, and sexuality. And she's also considered a divine mother, as many of the so-called feminine aspects were. So this was a very, very sacred temple, only populated by women. There were no priests of Hathor, only priestesses. Very sacred information was taught here. The walls have information about astrology, astronomy, and alchemy. And very much a very, very sacred site to the ancient people. We feel, unfortunately, cannot hear, feel this in this video, but people come and feel the soft, sweet, feminine energy here. As my teacher, Abdel Hakim, said, the site dictates what's there. So the energy here, known to the ancient people, the sweetness, the softness, the wonderful warmth of the feminine, obviously, created, extenuated in them the aspect of Hathor, so they built temples around to venerate the principle. And what we teach is, these were not gods and goddesses, it's called, the word is netter, and netter is translated as aspect of the whole, a principle or a sense, that we actually have these senses within us. So we come to these sites to activate these energies within us, the feminine, the soft feminine, the, the music, the dance, the arts and it raises that consciousness in people. And that was part of the initiation why people were brought here to experience the principle of the netter and activate it within themselves. This is a wonderful, wonderful sight. We wish everyone in the world could come and experience the divine feminine energy that is here. So as Stephen eloquently said, each one of these buildings was originally dedicated to a specific purpose. In the case here, it is definitely feminine. And there is a building for birthing, a building for the tantric arts. And the whole place has a very gentle feminine feel to it. Even the steps are gentle because they're so small. And here we are up on the roof. And once again, although they've been defaced, you see the portrait of Hathor, or Hathor. And the, uh, the damage is not the result of natural time, 
but supposedly this was done by the Christians who blamed the Muslims for it. But if you've never been to Egypt and you have a chance, you should definitely come here. It is amazing.